Hey, Ray the CPA here. I'm going to do a quick video about S Corp's reasonable wage. Okay, I'm going to make this really quick and easy. Um, so if you are an S Corporation, this video is for you. What I want to get at is I've been receiving a lot of questions, a lot of um, questions on my other S Corp video for um, S Corps that don't have any employees. So specifically, I want to talk to you if you are an S corporation, you don't have any employees, and you're paying yourself through the business. So here it is. One of the things that we hindsight is 2020, and now that we're not qualifying for the PPP, we're discovering this issue. Take advantage and do the right thing. So if you are a sole owner of an S corp, and you are paying yourself by just giving yourself um, withdrawals or distributions, meaning you transfer money out of your S Corp account into your personal account. One, congratulate yourself, pat yourself on the back because you're not commingling funds. That's good. You have two separate bank accounts. That's a start. Because what you don't want to do is not have separate bank accounts, commingle your funds as a business, and then you erase all the liability protection that you created with this entity. But what you're lacking, one thing you lack, if you're audited by the IRS, let's say, it doesn't really, you're not really paying yourself, meaning you're not an official employee, you're not withholding federal, Social Security, Medicare, FUDA, any of that stuff, right? So you're not really an employee. A reasonable salary means you are an actual employee of your business, right? So, for example, I have, a, I have an S corporation, CBT Limited, right? So, I have an S corporation. I W-2 pay myself. I pay a payroll service to pay me. I have W-2. So, I have, I have W-2s that I file taxes with. I pay federal taxes. I withhold federal taxes, the employer per portion as CBT Limited, and the employee portion as Ray Wilburn. And you do that so that your taxes are in order. And what that does is it makes the IRS know or any other auditing body know that you are not just using the S election for your corporation or for your LLC to do tax evasion, basically. If you're a reasonable employee, then a portion at least of your income from the S Corp is going to be properly taxed. The federal government is going to get their part. Now... That might not be the technical way of saying it, but that's the truth of the matter. That's that's why you keep hearing as an S Corp owner, reasonable wage, reasonable wage. And that's why using a payroll service to do it keeps you safe and out of trouble, right? Because you're going to get a W-2 at the end of the year. You're going to have your 940s and your 941s properly reported. Um, so if you're an S Corp and you are doing your own accounting or you want to have somebody like me do your accounting this is what I do I can help you we can hook you up with a payroll service even if it's just for you and do it right so that you are safe if you want you can check out my I have a couple of videos on my philosophy of service no missed opportunities no um, know where your money is and get your time back and then there's an overall there's an overarching philosophy of service video I would check those out if I were you in addition to this video but if you have questions follow this scroll thing here register on the website or you can reach out to my email alright everybody have a great day again reasonable wage pay yourself properly just transferring over accounts is not proper payment just taking withdrawals from your S Corp is not a, a proper payment. A reasonable wage means that a rule of thumb that has proven out in IRS tax law cases, around a third of what you make. So if your S Corp is, is grossing 100 grand, pay yourself 30 grand, pay yourself $35,000. So that's a rough estimate. You might even be able to get away with a quarter, but it has to be reasonable for what you do. Okay? So. Once again, my pleasure to be with you. Keep your questions coming. Ray the CPA out. It's going to take me about 14 minutes to figure out how to shut this down. All right, take care.